it's about that time that I do a gold audit and I'm wondering are you doing everything that you need to be doing to keep track of your gold and silver stack? How you doing everybody? Welcome to Empire Precious Metals. Stormy here. If you're new to the channel, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a guy in a bucket talking about precious metals. So make sure you blast that subscribe button, get the bell notification clicked. That way you get updated with any new content. So uh, it's not going to come to uh, many of you who are familiar with this channel as a surprise that I am constantly buying and selling silver and gold. And I am doing that, number one, because it's my business and also because I continually put my money into silver and gold as a form of savings. I, I believe in owning silver and gold and, um, you know, kind of the, the mantra of be your own bank and having your money put away in something tangible like silver and gold. It's a lot prettier to look at than regular dollar bills and so on and so forth. That being said, um, I am in the process now of looking at all the different silver and gold coins that I have. And this is something I've been putting off for a while because to be honest with you, it's quite a pain in the ass if you don't stay on top of it. And the problem is that the, the one problem that I have is that um, I have a couple different stacks. I have like three different stacks. The one stack is my own personal stack. The second stack is the stack for all of my auctions. And the third stack is for my website, empirepreciousmetals.com. That being said, um, I constantly am having things coming in and out of all three stacks, and I do the best that I can to keep track of everything on a spreadsheet. However, the problem is with time and, and different things popping up throughout the day or whatever, sometimes some of those things get kind of pushed off to the side and you either forget to do something or uh, sell something and forget to take it off the spreadsheet, you, you name it. There's a whole wide range of different reasons as to why you kind of start to lose count. And I know a lot of you probably have some sort of method in which you're keeping track of your silver and gold, but it's a very important thing to know the value of your silver and gold at any given moment, right? Like, don't you want to know how much money is in your bank account? Don't you want to know how much money you have in silver and gold? You, If you invest in stocks and, um, you know, crypto and everything, a lot of people, they know just how much money they have or what their overall net worth is in any particular area. So same goes for silver and gold. It's important to kind of know how much silver and gold you have. Um, you know, here I just pulled out three Britannias. I thought I had five. So there's going to be some work that I'm going to have to do. Oh, there's one. Okay, there's one. There's going to be some work that I'm going to have to do. And the important thing to keep track of everything, it's important to do that. But at the same time, um, you know, like I said, every once in a while you lose track of some of the, the gold coins. And so you have to kind of go back and do an audit. And that's what I'm going to do today. And I'll try to edit this down for you. Um, and I'll show you how I do everything. But by and large, everything is done on a spreadsheet. And I'm going to uh, share with all of you watching this video, I'm going to share with you um, the the spreadsheet template that I created and that I use for my uh, various stacks. So um, I'm going to get all of this stuff out here on the table. I think these are my Lunar Tigers. Um, get everything out of the boxes. And then basically I'm going to have to, you know, go line by line and see what I have. And just to make sure everything is accounted for. Plus on top of that, a lot of you in the stacking community, you set various goals for yourselves. And um, I have a current goal, and the, the key word here is current. I have a current goal of 50 ounces of gold. That was my goal to stack 50 ounces total by the end of 2022, to have 50 ounces in gold by the end of this year. And I think I am getting relatively close to that goal. And so, you know, it's good to know in terms of goal setting where you stand when it comes to your precious metals, because then you can reevaluate everything and see what it is that you want to do moving forward. 
Um, right now, I'm just going to do an audit and then uh, I will talk about what to do once you hit a particular goal when it comes to stacking silver and gold coins. So uh, you're going to basically just be watching me as I go through this process. I'm going to show you how I basically do everything and um, you know calculating the weights and so on and so forth. So let's hop over to my um, my web page, not my web page. Well, actually, yeah, let's check out Empire Precious Metal com because we want to see how much spot is right now and um, spot price right now on empireprecious.metals.com uh, we've got silver is at 2231 and then we've got gold is at 1881 all right so I'm going to go over to my spreadsheet oof all right 1881 and we're going to once I hit enter we're going to see this value drop Ugh. all right 1881 and go all right, I just lost about $9,000 there. Awesome. And what did I say silver was? $22.31. $22.31. Another oof. All right, $22.31. I'm going to hit enter, and we're going to see what happens to my value here. I'm going to hit enter. $16.73. All right, I lost another $400, give or take. Okay. Now, this spreadsheet here, this is not all of my holdings. This is some of them. And um, a lot of these things here, let's see. Uh, I do keep track of the various uh, vendors who I buy from. I do keep track of the date that I purchased, the, the way that I purchased everything. I mean, I keep track of everything just in case I ever get audited from, let's say, the IRS or whatever. Because again, like I said, I am a bullion dealer and I do have um, a list of everything. So... Let's see. I guess I can work my way. I, I'm just going to check everything off as I come across them. So we got the 1927 St. Gaudens MS-65. This was a recent pickup. And here it is. So I've got that. And we are going to put this one aside. That is accounted for. This is kind of tedious, but it is what it is. And I'm just going to mark this off for now. I'll just put like a little green paint bucket there that's how much it weighs we are good to go the check lion that is on the way i just bought that i posted that on instagram that's an ounce so we're going to mark that off that's incoming to me paid 22.18 on that one the royal arms coin that's right over here all right the royal arms just got this one in and that's another ounce i'm just going to move everything over basically everything that's accounted for i'm going to move over to i guess the left hand side i guess it doesn't necessarily matter but um, let's just move this over here, move everything over to the side. And the, the beauty about having the spreadsheets is that you can basically sort everything however you want to. You can sort it alphabetically. You can sort it by type of coin. I sort everything into quarters and then just in date order. Um, by and large, everything for the quarter I place in a particular section. And the other thing you're going to notice too is I have gold and silver on one um, spreadsheet because I like to know my total cost um, and my total worth when it comes to all of my silver and gold combined and this is again for profit and loss purposes you can break this out however you want to uh, on your own you just need to make a copy of this spreadsheet um, all right so here we've got a gold buffalo I don't really care about the date right now I'm not going to get into the dates um, but uh, let's just see here. We got one gold buffalo. Let's put that off to the side there. I mean, systematically, this is what we are going to do. So I'm going to go through everything. I'm going to kind of fast forward, see where we are uh, after I get through the entire process and um, let you know how everything fares out. Okay, so we're making some progress here. So far, I've indicated everything that I already have in uh, my possession. Um, now I'm getting to the pre-33 stuff over here. And uh, so it, it always helps when I am stacking my silver and gold. I pretty much put everything in similar categories. So my pre-33 is by and large all with one another with the exception of a couple pieces that just don't fit in the tubes. But now I'm on to the pre-33 to see um, what I have exactly uh, on hand. And if I sold anything, I'll be able to take it off on the spreadsheet uh, as needed. Now, not everything is exactly in order, right? I have purchased um, different coins at different times. So the spreadsheet, I'm going to be bouncing around back and forth. But 
Um, I just did a whole bunch of pre-33, and then I came across some of the Mexican gold, as you can see right over here. And now I'm kind of getting into some of the collectibles. Um, now you see on the spreadsheet on the left-hand side, we got the gold Britannias. I have four of them, uh, the quarter-ounce gold Britannias. And that's referring to these four that I got at one, uh, one time. So I've got those there. I'm starting to crack down on my or get through my uh, foreign gold. But um, as of now... This stuff here on the left-hand side, this is all accounted for as I continue to chip away at the stack. Okay, so I found my first discrepancy, and it's a nice discrepancy to find. On my spreadsheet, I had right here, as you can see, it's highlighted the gold lunar tiger, and I said that I had only one of them, one one-tenth ounce gold coin. So here's one, but it actually turns out I have five. So I must have thought that I either sold a whole bunch or planned on selling a whole bunch and never did. So I actually have five of the one tenth ounce gold lunar tigers. Talk about finding some, you know, money in like a, a pant pocket or something, right? That's kind of what that feels like. And it's a substantial amount. So now what I'm going to do on my spreadsheet is I'm going to change this from a 0.1 to a 0.5 because it's half an ounce. And now we're going to see my overall weight. When I move all the way up to the top, it's all going to calculate. It's going to increase. So I hit enter and then we're going to see it go to, there we go. It went up to 48.6 ounces. All right. So I got the gold lunar tigers. I'm going to highlight this in green and I'm going to continue to plug along and look for any other discrepancies. But on the flip side of that, now I found a discrepancy that's kind of working against me. And it looks like the next item up on the spreadsheet here says I um, have a one tenth ounce gold coin, gold eagle, um, for 240. It could be one of these slabbed ones here, but for now I don't have um, a, another raw one. So I'm going to kind of mark this um, as red or something that I'm going to have to come back to and check on in a little bit. Oof, this one hurts. Looks like I have marked a half ounce of gold and one tenth ounce gold eagles. I don't seem to have those. So that one kind of hurts. I, so we'll see. I'm going to mark this off uh, as red and see if I have to come back to that and deduct that from the overall spreadsheet. So some bad news and good news. Uh, bad news is my value went down quite a bit. I had some extra ounces that I must have sold and didn't remember. However, I did find this stuff too that I didn't account for. So I've got three one tenth ounce gold eagles. So I'm going to put, put those over there. And then I'm going to, in the spreadsheet, I know I had some that I was uh, off of. I had one tenth ounce gold eagles here. I have 0.2, so we're going to count that as one of those uh, ones there. Um, and then this one is 0.1, okay, which means this now are no longer one tenth ounce gold eagles. Um, but I have five one tenth ounce gold Britannias. One, two, three, four, five. That being said, I'm going to put these five gold Britannias here and um, I must have said gold eagles and it should have been Britannias. And so I have them at 0.5. So those are accounted for. And then I've got the quarter ounce gold Britannia that I got to add in. Um, and so I'll just add this one in here. It's been a long time. I'm not entirely sure as to when I purchased this particular coin. If I look at the date on this, um, where, what's the date on it? My eyesight is getting worse and worse. Looks like a 2021 right there. All right. So we got a 2021 gold Britannia. So we got to come up here. Let's just type in Britannia. All right, so we've got, forget that one, one ounce gold Brit 2021. Um, we'll just copy this. And again, every once in a while, something like this will slip through the cracks. This is a quarter ounce and one fourth ounce gold Brit 2021. And we'll just divide uh, this price by four because that's all I can do right now. That's all I can kind of go off of. So. Um, let's just enter that in here. Alexa, uh, actually, let's just do this equals 2125 divided by four, we get 531.25.
All right, that's it now. So this is my entire gold weight. I've got 44.6. I have a ways to go. All right, I have a ways to go. But this is just to show you guys, even somebody like myself who's constantly dealing with silver and gold, it's very important to know what you have and constantly uh, stay on top of it. Otherwise, every once in a while, you're going to have to do one of these audits. It's a major pain in the butt, as you can see, but it's extremely important and it allows you to see what you actually have. So here I thought I was close to my gold, uh, my gold goal of 50, and it looks like I still have a ways to go. So anyhow, let me know if this is, was useful for you guys. And I'm going to put a link for this template that I use in the description. Feel free to use it as needed. And uh, let me know in the comments down below, what is it that you use to track all of your silver and gold holdings? And I would like to quickly thank these elite channel supporters. And if you haven't already become a channel member, please check out the awesome perks and join today. With that, this is Empire Precious Metals. Until next time, long live the empire.